This episode is all about a coral crunching, beach building, buck beak family of fishers. My name is Bertie, and this is Borneo from Below. The coral reefs around Borneo play home to a huge number of brilliant, bedazzling tropical fish. From the very small to the very large, all play their part in the functioning of a healthy ecosystem. However, there's one family of fish that are slightly more influential than the rest. These are parrotfish, aptly named due to their striking bold colours and beak-like tooth arrangement. <laughs> but don't be fooled by their somewhat goofy look. Parrotfish are in fact essential to the maintenance of the entire tropical reef system. Here in Borneo, there are around 90 different species of parrotfish, and on reefs like this, the chances are pretty good we're going to bump into some. Whilst we were right about the abundance of parrotfish, one thing we didn't account for was how darn difficult they are to get close to. Catching up with one to take a quick snap soon turned into a comedy caper chase. Mm. Despite the fact that it was easy to observe the parrotfish's behaviour, getting any sort of usable shot proved impossible, although we did have a plan B. What a nightmare. I've done every trick in the book to get close to them. I hid behind rocks, they snuck up, and nothing, no luck. But for the parrotfish's the best party trick, you've got to come back at night. Maybe that way I'll be able to get a little bit closer. As night fell, I hopped back into the water to once again head off on parrotfish patrol. Now, whilst during the day parrotfish spend their entire time darting around the reef, by night time they're so exhausted they nestle down into nooks and crannies in the coral and get a spot of shut-eye. <sighs> to make sure they don't become some predator's midnight snack, the parrotfish has developed a very cool defence mechanism to allow it to get some undisturbed sleep. A number of parrotfish species secrete mucus from their mouths, forming a cocoon that encases their body during the twilight hours. Not too dissimilar to a sleeping bag. The mucus cocoon works to disguise any scent the parrotfish gives off. Plus, if any nosy critters get too close and pop the bubble, the parrotfish is instantly woken up and gets a head start, fleeing from the potential predator. What's so interesting about parrotfish is that by daytime it's really hard to get anywhere near them, and then at night they're just sat in a trance-like state in a mucus cocoon. It's a real sort of fascinating contrast. Later that night I was told of some recent sightings of the world's largest parrotfish out at Sipadan Island. At the crack of dawn, we set off on our mission to dive with the big, the bulbous, bumphead parrotfish. However, they clearly had other ideas. been here since 6am and still no luck with the bump head so we're just going to have a little cruise around and see if we can spot them from the surface. Okay so we've just found them, we've been looking for hours and hours but they're right here in front of the boat, it's going to get my tank on and jump in. I'm getting in mate, I'll see, I'll see you there. Yeah? Yep. 
Okay. Cheers. Like all parrotfish, bumpheads feed on coral, algae, and sponges, using their oversized rasping beaks to crunch it up before swallowing. Amazingly, what comes out the other end is soft white sand, which helps make up most of the beaches in this part of the world. In fact, a single adult bumphead parrotfish can produce around 90 kilos of sand every year. Like giant oceanic cows, large herds of bumphead parrotfish graze the reefs around Sipadan on a daily basis, only stopping for a quick spruce up from cleaner wrasse who hang out on coral bonnies. Through their grazing on fast-growing sponges, parrotfish protect reef-building corals which would otherwise become overgrown, making them an incredibly important member of the coral reef community. Uh, don't you love it when a plan finally comes together? Big school of bump heads, cleaning, feeding, doing the whole range of behaviours. Awesome end to the day. So there we go. Parrotfish may look a bit goofy and gormous, but they have a few cool tricks up their sleeve and are in fact integral to healthy ecosystems. Parrotfish might not look like Brad Pitt or Angelina Jolie, but they can still make for a great photograph. <laughs>